right now, very weather dependent here. We have seasonality here in our market. I'm sure like, just like you, you know, our spring market starts at the, you know, middle of April. I always joke with people, once the kids come back from February vacation, people start thinking about spring and yeah. especially if we have had a mild winter, which we've had our last couple of years. And so, you know, our spring market starts, you know, I will say like middle of March, right through the end of June, come 4th of July weekend, the kids are out of school and people are at the beach and July and August tend to be quieter here, which is a great opportunity for those buyers that may have been sidelined in the spring. Mm -hmm. And then come the middle of September after college students go back and kids are enrolled in school, it's like everybody kind of wakes up and they're like, oh, we need to sell the house or buy another house before the end of the year. It's so funny. It's like an awakening. And <laughs> so then that's our second market or, you know, it's not as, as strong as the March, the spring market, but it picks up. We see a huge increase in sales again. And that really can go towards like the middle of December, because, you know, if you're dealing yeah. with cash, you can close within a couple of weeks. And there's a lot of people that need to do like 1031 exchanges and, you know, calendar year and stuff like that. So that's really kind of our, I call it BC before COVID. Yeah. <laughs> season. This year has been a little bit different, much like the last couple of years. We're seeing like our spring now just really been pushed into June, mid-June and like going gangbang, you know, right now. So it's, it's, it's yeah, it's interesting.